G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. As part of my uh, historical sewing <laughs> expansion, uh, I decided to create a reasonably authentic medieval style sewing box. And I thought today, uh, as we're going into some of the historical sewing videos in the next couple of weeks, that I thought we'd uh, enjoy having a bit of a look inside and seeing what's there. It's not complete yet, it's far from it. However, let's take a look. Anyway, we have a nice latch on the front. This would have been locked in medieval times. Because, let's face it, who wants to share their best stuff with their siblings all the time? Alrighty. So, I have a couple of different pairs of medieval style shears. This particular one is from a company called Make Your Own Medieval. And there's a similar but bigger style from a company called Medieval Fight Club. Both of these are very authentic. Both of these are based on grey finds throughout Western Europe. And we have some really nice pieces of kit. I've then got some, excuse my pronunciation, now binding needles. Uh, these are really nice ones. Uh, this one I got from Medieval Fight Club. And I also got a really nice packet here uh, from Make Your Own Medieval. Both companies do very reasonable pricing. I'm really happy. So, uh, needle case, now binding needles. I've got several projects for those coming up. Uh, we'll be doing socks, hats, and uh, mittens. Really looking forward to those. That will be happening in about a month. The other really nice thing that I've got in this kit are a whole bunch of these little bobbins. Let's take a look at these. Now these are small wooden bobbins from Make Your Own Medieval. They're fantastic. They are very authentic. Really nice. Very well made. Really nice presentation. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how they go with my kit. So that for the most part is it. I'm going to be getting uh, a nice pair of iron scissors to go with these. Um, Unfortunately, with things as they are at the moment, very few of these companies are operating to their full potential, and that's a shame. But we have to work with what we got, and we have to live with what we got. So, that's what we have. I've been really looking forward to making a start with the historical sewing stuff, and uh, a whole bunch of videos are coming up. Really looking forward to it. I uh, really enjoy sharing my passion with you guys. I really enjoy the feedback that I'm getting in terms of the comments and the suggestions and, and this kind of interaction that we have going on in the Facebook community and also in the YouTube community. And some really interesting sort of stuff is being shared around. I really enjoy it, I really appreciate it. Um, so please like, subscribe and share. Share your, these videos with your friends. I'm really keen to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, and, and I really do appreciate the knowledge and the feedback because we're all learning and I'm very much learning. I'm only very much a novice in some of these areas. Uh, alrighty, so um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.